Hello, this is Romeo Cat Computers, and today I will be making an informational video about the anatomy, the measurements, and the usage of microwave oven transformers that you can use for your future projects and experiments. So there are three connection points you're going to want to worry about when you're hooking one of these things up. So first we'll start with the primary. And it can be found by uh, locating these two tabs and this is where you plug in your 120 volts. And uh, the primary can be found without these tabs by looking for the winding with the least amount of turns and the very thick windings. And that's this one. And then the secondary is this top one. It's got very, very thin windings and a lot of them. It's kind of hard to see because it's covered with all this junk here. And the output of that is uh, right here. Now you may be wondering, well, you'd need a, a, the other side of the secondary to complete that. And uh, the other side of the secondary, if you look here, is actually connected to the chassis. And so that's why you never want to touch these when they're live. Because the chassis is basically energized with 2.4 thousand volts. Even if it's covered in lacquer, you can still get a nasty shock from these. And it will probably kill you. But anyway, if you want your over 2,000 volts, you just go across here and somewhere on the chassis. And you could just get a bit of sandpaper and rub the lacquer off. And then right here, this is the uh, third thing. You probably don't want to worry about this too much. This is a small low voltage winding, which is just used to power the uh, magnetron's heating element. And yeah, it's only a few volts AC, uh, so unless you need something specifically for that, most people just cut these off. Um, but I like to leave them on just in case I do need them for something. So, now that we know exactly what needs to go where, uh, you may want to know exactly how many volts is outputting. Maybe how many turns, what the ratio is, so we'll get into that next. So now we know what needs to be hooked up where, you might want to know exactly how much the transformer outputs. And now, a lot of people will say it's a 2 kilovolt transformer, but in reality, from different microwave ovens, you could probably get anywhere from 2,000 up to, I've heard, even uh, 2.6 thousand volts. And so, if you're just drawing arcs to make a spectacle for everybody, then you probably don't really care too much. But if you do want to know exactly how much it's outputting, here's a simple way to do it, and it's just to hook the transformer up backwards. So instead of stepping up 120 volts to 2000, you'll be stepping 120 volts down to whatever, and then you can do the math to figure out the ratio of turns, and then do the math again to uh, figure out what it would output if given 120. Now it is important to, before doing this, measure what your outlet is outputting because it's not always exactly 120 it might be 119.5 it might be 122.6 or something if you want the exact math then you're going to want to measure that and i'll get to that later but for now here i'm just going to hook it up so this is what i call my blotto box there's a microwave oven transformer in there here's the 120 input here's the two kilovolt output but you see I have it hooked up backwards, so the 120 is coming in here, and it's stepping down to here, which I will be measuring with my multimeter. So here I'm going to plug it in, and we're going to see what we get. And here's what the multimeter says, about 6.2 volts. So I went ahead and measured the exact voltage of my AC line, and it turned out to be 121.3. Like I said, it's not always going to be exactly 120. So anyway, then I went ahead and did the math, and here's what I found. So, we inputted 120, and it outputted 6.2. And so if we divide 121.3 by 6.2, that's the ratio. And so if you want to round it up, you could basically say the transformer has a ratio of 20 to 1, or 1 to 20, whatever direction you're looking at it in. And so for the exact math, you to step it up, you take the 121.3 times 19.6. 
and this would output exactly 2,377.48 volts. But again, if you want to round it up, it will basically output 2.4 thousand volts. So here I'm going to do the demonstration. I will be making a, a Jacob's Ladder arc using these uh, copper uh, wires here on the blotto box. Now before I do this, I have to give a disclaimer. Absolutely do not do this at all. If you do not know what you're doing, if you do not know the dangers that this can cause, and if you do not take the proper safety precautions. Often in my videos, I present these high voltage experiments and demonstrations in a rather comical fashion, but in reality, it is critical to understand that I do know what I'm doing, I do understand how dangerous this is and that it will kill me if I touch it, and that I do take the proper safety precautions to protect myself and others around me from getting a fatal shock. Now anyway, I'm going to get on with the demonstration, so please keep that stuff in mind if you want to do this. Alright, here we go. I heard something click in the panel which means the breaker is probably almost ready to trip. And the transformer is indeed humming. So here we go. And there goes the breaker. Don't worry, this is no longer live. The breaker is doing its job. Oh, I killed the light too. That would mean it's uh, this one right here. Oh, wait, it's live again. Hold on. Gotta unplug that first. Okay, we're safe now. So that was a demonstration. Um, I will mention that uh, in normal operation in a microwave oven, you know, they draw a lot of current and they usually have a special circuit, but they only draw about 11 amps. But uh, when you have a setup like this where you're basically dead shorting it, you will trip a 15 amp breaker. And I believe in this case, uh, oh, it was one of these. It actually tripped a 20 amp breaker. So just be know that uh, it, it will do that. Anyway, that's it for this video, and I will mention before I close it here that as of this recording today, I reached my 200th subscriber on the Romeo Cat Computers YouTube channel. So uh, thank you to all of you that have been sticking around and uh, watching my videos. But anyway, um, I will be wrapping this video up, so I hope you found this informational and uh, possibly entertaining, and I hope to see you in the next one.